Trill Burgers on deck. Ready? It's time, baby. It's Hey, what's up? My name is Bun B, co-founder of Trill Burgers. We are here at our first brick and mortar location in Houston, Texas. It's worth the wait. Love it. Perfect. Well, Trill Burger is, is not just the best burger in America, but it's literally one of the best dining experiences you could probably have. I mean, everything is just really good on this burger. So we believe we have one of the best products that you can buy right now. I don't think y'all understand, like, I swear, on everything, this is the Trill Burger for real. You hear that? It's a slight crunch. Well, the name Trill started in the uh, penal systems of Texas in the penitentiary. Is a gentleman by the name of Lil Block from Port Arthur, Texas, came home and started to integrate this term into our local vernacular. But really, what the word means is, you know, it's very easy to do what you're supposed to do when people are watching. But this is about making sure that when nobody's watching, you're still holding yourself to a higher standard. And now it's a term that's recognized worldwide for going above and beyond. It's not a burger, it's a true burger. You get a burger that drives you for $5. Man, That's cool. Who's responsible for the recipe? You did a damn good job. Thank you so much. This burger was really good to me when it was brought to me and I tried it, but it was really about making sure everybody else liked it as much as I did. Fire. So when we started doing those first pop-ups and we started to see the reaction uh, from people as they tried the burger, we did the second pop-up and then some of the people from the first pop-up came to that one and it was like, yep, it's still good. It's just been a, a whirlwind of excitement for this company as we grow every single day. Um, being able to take this burger to cities that it has never been in before and have brand resonance and brand awareness in those places has just been remarkable. But to go to places like Coachella and be anticipated and go to places like Rolling Loud and be anticipated and Summer Smash and Something in the Water, all these great cultural events around the country and to have brand awareness and to be anticipated is really, really a big deal for us here at Trill Burgers. It's something, it's something that we don't really take for granted. And so when we got the call from ABC to come and compete for Best Burger in America on Good Morning America, it was literally the best call we could have gotten at the best time. Uh, we put our best burger forward um, here in Houston. We won here. We went to New York for the national competition, and we ended up winning there. Trill Burger, is that right? It was the city of Houston that really put this burger on its back and, and built it up. But we want this to be a destination location. Hi, Mike, in the building. Thank you for coming to Trill Burger, Mike. Houston culture is it's ingrained into this product at this point. And if you came into Trill Burgers and you didn't see something that had a slab, you didn't see the words UGK, and you didn't see the face of Pimp C in this building, you might feel a certain way. So we want to make sure that there's, there's obvious culture cue points that they can access when they walk in the building so that, as I said, it really feels and looks like Trill Burgers. So yeah, we would love to have you know, in the next two to three years, you know, several brick and mortars around the city of Houston, uh, potentially several more uh, in the state of Texas, maybe in the next four to five years. Um, but we're not really trying to overwhelm ourselves. Um, and so the more we expand, the more we have to take that into consideration. But no, we definitely would like at some point for everybody in the world to try a Trill Burger, but everybody in Texas needs to be able to have a Trill Burger any day they want 